Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, create a um, how do I want to say this? I guess I'm going to create like a volume that represents the the mass of the building. Okay, we'll call it that. Um, so what's what's interesting is like how you set up the the roof and stuff. So I could create a volume with all four of these, no problem, right? Just loft all four of them together, and it creates that. But if I wanted to create a, a roof on top and then have that all be one cohesive volume, that's a little different. I need to restructure the data back here and make sure that I'm only taking the four floors that I want to analyze. So in theory, I could create four of these. Whoops, don't hit enter. Um, and it, of course, that's going to throw that value off. Um, but what I want to do before I plug in the information is make sure that that fourth one doesn't get calculated in the, um, in the analysis part of this definition. So we have a list here of four polygons, right? So that, that's one, two, three, and then four. That's the fourth one up top. That's supposed to be our roof. We're not supposed to be counting that. Um, so I need to go into that list and remove an item. I need to remove the last item. So when I go to set and list, I can um, break. I can break it apart in a, in a couple of different ways. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do is, um, well, you could do it sort of a few ways. You could use split list, or you could use reverse list, or you could do a list item and find the last item. I I think the easiest way is gonna be to partition the list. List of partition, size of partitions. Okay, that's key. So the way I'm going to do this to make it smart, no matter how many floors I have, right? Um, I'm going to. Can anybody guess? Huh? Yeah, kind of. I mean, well, there isn't a three anymore. There's a four. So if I went and I plugged in four, um, it's going to give me that value of four, and I, oh, sorry, that's in the wrong input. Um, if I put the value of four there, that's the size of the partition, I have four values there. Um, it's actually just going to give me all four of those items. So what I have to do is, um, well, because it's going to go one, two, three. Yeah, okay. So what I have to do is measure how long that list is, which is four, and subtract one. Does that make sense? So you could do that through an expression, which is going to be um, here. Or what I'm going to do for you is so that you see what's happening is I'm going to drop in the mathematical operator. So I'm going to go to math, operators, and go to subtraction. So I'm going to take 4. I'm going to subtract 1. And I'm going to plug that in here. So that gives me... Um, what did it give me? Three and one. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the way it broke it up, but we can work with that. Okay, so it gave me a list of three and then one. Um, the three, let's go to um, set and tree, and let's go to explode tree. And I'm going to pull this stuff kind of out to the side. So here's the information that you saw before, 3 and 1. I'm going to plug that in here, and then what you're going to see is that it has the first list of 3 and then the second list of 1. So if I take all three of those, I've got my three polyline curves. Those three polyline curves are um, the three that I have in the middle of the analysis, so I can plug that in here. Yeah. The, the three or the single one. So what this is doing, if you see this information, right, it's this is each a branch. So no matter how many branches I have, so there's a list here, there's a list here, there's a list here. If I had 10 of these sublists, then this bang um, output would actually show all 10 of those because it'll, it'll expand for as many as I need. See, right now it shows one and two, but it doesn't show anything coming out of three and four because there are only two lists of lists here. Does that make sense? So I'll get rid of that for a moment. 
subtract, subtract. Okay, so all I really did here was I added the partition list. I added bang. Um, so this is under sets list. And this is under um, set tree. All right, so what questions do you have about that? Okay, now, um, what you do need to know, though, is that I still only have um, my, well, actually, let's do this. We have, I've got a bunch of polyline curves here, right? I want to just loft them all together and, and see what they look like. So I'm going to go to surface, freeform, and loft, and I'm going to plug it in. Well, not that way. Um, plug it in here. Take a look at it. It doesn't go to the top. Why doesn't it go to the top? Because I removed it from the list. So we, as it stands right now, I don't have one single list that has all five of my polygons showing. I've got the four that I created above the base, uh, the base level. Um, I partitioned it into separate groups. So now I've only got the three in the middle, and then I have the one at the top. And then I have um, the three here and the one at the top showing there. So what do I want to plug in to loft? Anybody? So, so never mind. Uh, I'll just tell you. OK. So I don't want to plug in what you see here, which is the merge. Right? I could, in theory, plug in my base polygon and my top polygon, which is the roof. Right? That's going to be this in combination with this. And it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Ah, because they have different branches. You see that? You don't see that. I know no. you don't. Okay. Um, they're not going to loft. Oh, they're coming out null. Why are they coming out null? This is a curve, polyline curve. That's a polyline curve. That's weird. Hmm. Oh, they're in separate groups. That's why. This needs to be flattened. Boom. Um, so that information, it was, it was A in two separate groups. So it was trying to loft one curve with itself and then another curve with itself. So you have to flatten them. Sorry, that was kind of a brain fart moment for me. OK. Now. Um, what you see here looks right, right? It looks like the mass of a building, the floors match, all is well, but it's not. Um, so what I'm going to move into next is once we start to make the architecture a little bit more interesting, um, you're going to see that this really doesn't quite work the way you think it does. So, um, anyway, let's, uh, but before I move to that though, I want to make sure that you guys understand what we did. If you have any questions, what are they? So any questions? OK. I trust you. It takes a lot of trust to trust you this much. 